The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. No excuse for failure. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. 1 John 5, verse 18. Many fail to recognize the claims that God has upon them. They profess to be sons and daughters of God, but they do not behave as children of God. They argue that their evil habits and customs which they followed when they served under the black banner of the Prince of Darkness must be excused on the ground of their weakness, while they claim that it is their way. Their objectionable hereditary traits of character they choose to retain as idols. When a soul is truly converted, all habits and natural evil besetments are done away in Christ Jesus and all things become new. Among those who profess to be servants of Christ, an earnest purpose should be cultivated, such as Daniel manifested in the courts of Babylon. He knew that God was his strength and his shield, his front guard, and his rear guard. Amid the corruptions that surrounded him in the courts of Babylon, he kept himself free from those sights and sounds which would allure him and draw him into temptation. When his duties require that he be present at scenes of reverie, intemperance, and basis idolatry, he cultivated the habit of silent prayer, and thus was kept by the power of God. To have the mind uplifted to God will be a benefit in all times and in all places. Let the soul cultivate the habit of contemplating the world's Redeemer. Help has been laid upon one that is mighty. Jesus has given his life that every soul might have abundant help in him. Will you who read these words resolve that you will never again seek to excuse your defects of character by saying, It is my way? Let no one declare, I cannot change my natural habits and tendencies. The truth must be admitted into the soul, and it will work the sanctification of the character. It will refine and elevate the life, and fit you for an entrance into the mansions which Jesus has gone to prepare for those who love him.